Hey guys, welcome back to InventBox, we have a solution is right around the corner. Kevin here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the different brush features that Krita has to offer. So let's get started. I have a new file here, and I'm going to right click. And here's all my brush, or a pretty good selection of my brush options. Right now if I don't change anything... I can start drawing with the tool that it already has built in. Now if we want to change that, we could go over here to pencil. And it will be a lot smaller. Or we could do the paintbrush. And what that does is that it actually, as you can see, leaves like a... It fades in and it fades out like what a paintbrush would look like. So that's what the paintbrush does, but if you want a hard, crisp line, you'll want, over here is all of your, all your brushes, and there is a lot of them. You want this one here, and this is a hard, crisp line that doesn't have any fade in or fade out. So... <clears throat> We have a lot of oops we have a lot of brushes here. So of course there's the paintbrush and then it's smaller paint brushes. You can change your sizes. This is more of a brush looking thing, like a brush stroke. So there's a lot of different options here. If we go down here we have stamps. If you hold it down it'll start pasting whatever the image is there and I guess this is hearts <laughs> so now we can have a pasting hearts or almost grass looking stuff that's pretty cool if you want to add a little bit of grass texturing you can just do that really, really quick so then you have the grass on the layer and then if you want you can add a little this is even a mountain texture so we can start adding mountains in the background <laughs> that's funny that they have a mountain texture so add a little mountain range back here So now we got some mountains. <laughs> um, let's see what else they have. I have no idea what that is. It just looks like squiggles. These could be clouds, I guess. If you want to add some like those, those stretched out clouds, and then. add some different kinds of plants in there with the grass so there's some pretty cool already preset brushes that we have in here and you can build some cool landscapes and that took a really really short amount of time so there's some rain coming down I guess you really could do whatever you wanted with all these brushes since we have so many different ones. So, yeah, like there is every type of brush you basically can imagine or what you would have in real life when you're painting something. Of course, here is an eraser and you can go through and erase stuff, which is useful. So, that's just kind of a quick overview of all the brush presets and... <clears throat> so I hope this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you then.